Okay, I'm calling the meeting to order. Uh, we will start with the invocation being presented by Member Schultz and the pledge follow, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance given by Member Lewis. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll now have the roll call and determination of quorum. Chair Odom. Present. Member Bandor. Absent. Member Lewis. Present. Member Mann? Present. Member Schultz? Present. And Member Brennan? Present. Quorum is met. Thank you. Uh, we'll now have a swearing in of officers and witnesses. Please stand and raise your right hand if you plan to speak tonight. All right. Do you and each of you solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you're about to present shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Yes. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Uh, we now will have uh, the reading of the consent agenda by Member Gaines. Mr. Gaines. Madam Chair and Board Members, good evening. I'm Doug Gaines, uh, Acting Director of Sports Services. We have two for uh, dismissal or in compliance. They're actually both in compliance, and that's 2023-01083 and 2023-01131. Thank you. Uh, Madam Chairperson, I move to accept the agenda and consent agenda as. Make a motion. Oh, I'd like to make a motion that we move to accept the uh, consent agenda as presented by the city. Stay out. Seconded. Okay, I will. Uh, we have a motion before the board uh, made by <laughs> Member Mann. Uh, that the consent agenda be accepted as presented by the city and seconded by Member Lewis. All those in favor, uh, press yes. Mm -hmm. Those opposed, press no. It's unanimous motion carries. Okay. Uh, the next order of business would be the reading of any public comments. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just please state your name before you start. I'm Victoria Laney, and I just wanted to um, give a quick report on what it was like to um, have the uh, resolve the code violation I got. In, on April 25th, um, the owner of the car had two heart attacks. She was hospitalized both times. She had a surgical procedure. She had um, four different infections for which she was hospitalized. After she returned to the nursing home, she was in isolation, so she was unable to return to her room and retrieve the title, the key to the vehicle, and other essential documents to resolve this matter. Um, I. Um, she was. She injured her hand. I I drove to Kissimmee repeatedly. She injured her hand, and it was in a, a a orthopedic device, and she couldn't sign the power of attorney when I needed it. Um, it, it was a very expensive uh, matter. The getting a duplicate title was eighty-five dollars. Getting a duplicate key with a locksmith was more than one hundred and sixty dollars. Um, we had the vehicle towed. Uh, as far as far away as we could to Ocala, it's not in Ocoee anymore. It's in a different, a different place, um, and and that was uh, at least three hundred dollars. Um, my expenses that I paid to have the car towed to my driveway were one hundred thirty. When it's all said and done, it's going to be more than a thousand dollars. It's been a nightmare. Um, I wish that there was some way that they 
wouldn't, you know, for the, all for this little yellow tag that, that there was no easy way because I couldn't insure her, her vehicle to get it registered. Anyway, um, the only good news out of this is that um, we have, I believe we're donating it to a, 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 a veteran who had no car and he had no house either. And so he's living in a field in Ocala and he's so excited to have this car and he feels like he'll be able to repair it. It has multiple things wrong with it, but that he'll be able to repair it and drive it someday. And I hope that will happen. But in the meanwhile, I hope I never have to come before you again, as charming as you are. <laughs> so. Thank Why, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, no. Board, thank those you. comments were related to uh, case number 2022-00880 for 830 Hammocks Drive, which we will be presenting uh, later on in this evening. I will record them underneath that section of the minutes. Oh, okay. Yes, I was um, wondering whether or not she was speaking now or was she was going to speak when we got to the case. So. Ideally, it would have been later, but... I think we're fine with moving forward. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next order of business, um, we are going to hear uh, case number 2023-01081, presented by Officer Loeffler. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, the address is 1246 Russell Drive. That is the violation location. On May 22nd, 2023, this officer did observe the following three violations issues at the property. And I have an exhibit here. Uh, stand by. That's the property appraiser. No, that's the property appraiser. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, that's a, <clears throat> Exhibit A, and that is a trailer that has a boat on it, and it's parked and stored in a prohibited location in front of the front building line. There's a, uh, a metal storage building in the front driveway, which is behind that ex-UPS van or whatever it is. I don't know if I can zoom in, but there is a shed there. Yeah, that plus up there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So there's a little building in the front driveway. <laughs> and then additionally, and that was a shed without a permit for violation-wise from the city. Also, there was tall weeds and grass and piles of junk and debris and dead limbs, just like that one pictured all around the property. Mm -hmm. There's tall weeds and grass. So... <clears throat> On the same date, a violation notice was posted at the location and sent out certified delivery to the owner, Thomas and Kim Monks, as identified by Orange County Records, for violations of 6-4H6B regarding the trailer parking, 51-13 regarding the unpermitted building behind the truck, and 115-3A3 for the tall weeds and grass and piles of junk, debris, and dead limbs. The violation notice provided until June 6, 2023, to come into compliance. The property was reinspected and was found non-compliant. On June 16th, a notice of hearing to this meeting was posted at the location and in City Hall for uh, this meeting date. As of this date, there's been no contact from the family, owners, and it remains non-compliant. Also in my remedial action, one of the options for the unpermitted shed is, was to take it down and make it go away. So. Okay. Okay. The city's recommending 15-day compliance time frame and $50 per day per violation. Thank you. Um, question, have there been any contact no. with the tenants? Nothing. I don't know. Nobody. Okay. And, and nothing's changed. 
When, when you went back to visit the property, was everything in the same? Exactly the same. That's the worst part. Okay. Okay. Does it look as though anybody at the property? It it's, has not changed at all. Nothing's so. changed since mm -hmm. May 22nd? Maybe somebody's gotten sick or left town. I have no idea. It's not in foreclosure, so. Okay. Do you know how long that uh, shed has been there? No, I do not. Okay, was this reported by a neighbor or just something you've seen? Okay, it's self-initiated by me. Okay. However, three three different neighbors complained I while I was in my vehicle, not through the official <laughs> system. <laughs> hey, over here. Okay. Okay, if there's uh, no discussion, I'll entertain a motion. Madam Chairperson, I move that in case number 2023-01081, that the respondent be found in violation of code as cited as of June 6, 2023, and be given until July 12th to come into compliance, or be fined $50 a day per day per violation until found in compliance. Okay. I second. I second. Oh. Okay, I have a motion before the board um, presented by a member. Can we have a little discussion first before we vote? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay. Um, obviously, the trailer boat would be easy to move. Tall grass and weeds, 15 days is okay for that. I don't know what's in that shed, but if nobody's been there and there's Things in the shed that need to get moved. Fifteen days not, may not be enough time to move it. Just keep that in mind before you vote. Okay, but we're also keeping um, in mind that um, they had until June six. Okay. So. And somebody has removed the postings. Okay. When I had to go up to the front door of the house to try and make contact, the shed, although it's made out of metal tin it didn't appear to be secured to the slab okay, so it's portable okay so they're oh, they are aware somebody that this is. is okay and okay. it's a it's like a it, towable thing right you can pull it out yeah it could uh, maybe not by yourself but it could be done okay. you uh, said that three um three neighbors flagged you down or something like yes that? even yeah. afterwards because yeah. they think we're not doing anything because it's have they seen people there? No, I don't know. I'm sorry? I have no idea. Oh, okay. They didn't tell me that. Okay. Excuse me, I just thought about something you said. You indicated that, um, I forgot what it's called, uh, but you would, you're um, advocating for us removing the shit? No, no. Okay. Just applying our defines that you may find them in violation. Okay. Okay. Just, okay. You, sometimes that's the letter that gets someone's attention. I see. <laughs> okay. Well, any more discussion? <laughs> okay. Um, then we'll proceed with the motion. I have a motion before the board um, in case number 2023-01081, presented by Member Mann and seconded by Member Lewis, uh, that the... Uh, that the respondents be found um, guilt, <laughs> found, <laughs> legal is kicking in, I'm sorry, that the uh, uh, respondents be found in violation um, of the um, codes as cited um, from June 6, 2023, and that they be given until July 12, 2023 to come in compliance or be fined $50 per day per violation until found in compliance. Uh, we will do a vote on that. All those in favor, press, press yes. Opposed, press no. Okay, the motion passes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the next order of business will be the case resolutions. Um, the first is 
Case number 2022-00765. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, my. Okay. Should be 106 file. Mr. Oh. Director, you mean uh, you're referring to 00765? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> they're in compliance. They have to present it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Was I correct the first time? You were correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, all right. Just want to make my sure. My bad. <laughs> okay. Um, well, the now I'm really messed up. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. That's what I told you. Oh, oh, seven, six, five. Yep. Yes. Um, case number two zero two two dash zero zero seven six five. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Madam Chair. Yes. I moved that in. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. wait, wait. So that's for Officer Diaz. Officer Diaz is not here. Uh -oh. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so this case is in compliance. Okay. No fines assessed. If you recall, this is the case where the hoarding was all over the front yard, the backyard, <laughs> and they had a yes, volunteer crew. Yes, 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 yes. I talked with Officer Diaz, all the pictures. It's completely cleaned out. Okay. okay. So no action. No action okay. on that. Okay, uh, that's so, why. So then we go to. Okay. So we well, that with that, we will. Uh, there's no paperwork for that. There's no fines assessed. So they complied with your previous order. Mm -hmm. um, therefore, nothing else needs to be filed. No. Correct. Okay. Okay, the next uh, case is 2022-00865. And this was Officer Rodriguez. Yes. Officer Rhea Rodriguez is on vacation. She let me know that 801 Sullivan is in, in compliance. Okay. No fines assessed. Oh, fantastic. Okay. <coughs> the next case is 2022-00880. Uh, again, Officer Rodriguez. Yes. Officer Rodriguez let me know that this case is in compliance. That's 830 Hammocks Drive. That's oh. the case you heard from Ms. Laney earlier, the car yeah, okay. yes, in the driveway. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, our next case uh, is case number 2023-00065. Again, Officer Rodriguez. That's 1205 Fluelling Avenue. Um, Officer R Rodriguez, let me know that the owner, who was actually here, is asking for another 27 days or until the next board meeting, and the city is fine with that because they are working with the building department. Okay. Um, Did you want to say anything? Yeah, okay. Yeah, she made it. Is this? Okay, so we make a motion. Okay. Okay. With that, we would entertain a motion. Yes. Um, Is this the case where um, the it's managed by a local company, but the owner is out of state? Yes. Yeah, you were before us before last last meeting, weren't you? <clears throat> no, last it, uh, last uh, meeting. April. A couple, a couple, yeah, a couple months ago. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. uh, okay. So you got the permits. You working? How much is all this? It doesn't matter. Just, just. Do, do you want to hear emotion. from her for the yeah. record? I'm sorry. If you don't mind, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Okay. To the 27th. Okay. That's Thank all. you. That's all. Mm -hmm. Hi, fellow Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do we have to swear her in? Yes. 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 She came late. You need to be sworn in. Could you please read Do you swear and affirm the testimony about the present? Should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at this point you're you're applying for the permits. The permits have been granted. Where what's the status? We're right at the ending part. They the last thing they needed was the plan, which was completed right. and submitted. Okay. 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 So I'm you buying. think it's going to be done in 27 days? 
I'm sorry? You think it'll be finished in 27 days? The plumber said that everything should, once they have the permit, which I've already spoken with um, the building department, and they said once they receive that, they're going to push for us to get the uh, permit quickly. So then the plumber mm -hmm. said all they would need is, it would just take them a week to finish mm -hmm. the work. Mm -hmm. So once we get that permit, it'll be, it's gonna be scheduled to be completed immediately. Oh, okay, so you're waiting for a permit from the city, yes. right? Okay, and the engineers already cleared you. Everything's clear. The yes, yeah, the for the you plumbers the that are going to do the yes. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Are there any other <coughs> questions for the witness? Uh, Is the tenant still in the house? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, okay madam, madam chairperson. If there's no more um, comments. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I move that in case number 2023-00-065 that the case be extended in the, to the compliance date that was set by the board our for 27th of 24th, 24th of July um, to be continued then. I second it. Second it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And case <coughs> number, excuse me. In case number 2023 mm -hmm. 00065, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. my motion made by Member Mann and seconded <coughs> by, oh God, I forgot his name. Oops. Lewis. No, I'm sorry. No, Brennan. 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 Brennan, I'm sorry. Um, that the case be continued um, to our next meeting, which would be 20, a 27 day continuance, which would be July 24th. Um, that's not exactly. Oh, Member right. Mann had, had actually said to extend the compliance date okay. to the 24th. Right. Our next meeting would be July 25th. 20. Right. Okay. So that would be the day before our next meeting. Uh, okay. Um, oh, correct, yeah. July 24th. Okay. July, July 24th would be the compl extended compliance date. Yes. Therefore, you could rule on the case on July 25th, our next meeting. Okay. Um, that was how I had interpreted That's his motion. original motion. Yes. Okay, yes. that it be extended to... July 24th. But because we give him one day. The compliance date. That's right. the okay. motion he had made. Um, right. There right. is also, also an option to continue it, just to not rule on it today. Right. Um, but that was not the motion made from my understanding. So amend it, and then we will agree. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I, I guess I'm a little confused. Amend his motion to extend the date. Oh, yes. Okay, then. Um, uh, yes. Me, um, Madam Chairperson, mm -hmm. I move that in case number 2023-00065 that we move in the compliance date to be set by the, to be extended to the 25th of, I'm the sorry, 24th. 24th of July, and that the case be continued then. Second. Okay. Okay, let's see if I have this. Okay. Um, I have a motion before the board in case number 2023-00065 that the uh, compliance date be extended to July 24th. Okay. Mm -hmm. This motion is made by Member Mann and seconded by Member Brennan. Okay. At which time it will be continued. At which time it will be continued. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now we'll vote on that. All those in favor, press yes. Those opposed, no. The motion carries. Okay. Interesting. Okay, the next case we have is 2023-00110. Um, my officer, Loeffler. Yes. Late now. 
At uh, <coughs> 6 o'clock this evening, I received a phone call from the property owner. Mm -hmm. He's unable to come here tonight. He's watching somebody. He has done everything except for the roof of the lean-to that touches the neighbor's fence. Still has to come down. Mm -hmm. And he's asked for more time. I told him I couldn't guarantee anything, but it's, it's up to the board. You did just have some good practice. Okay. He did, asked for two weeks. Did you, um, did you go by the house at all? Would yes, oh yeah. Okay. That's the, the only thing left. The litter's all gone? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Continue to the 24th. Why? Okay. Um, so you said everything, nothing has been done, or everything's been done except, oh, except for the roof. Okay. Okay. So, so then, he's only asking for a two week. Right. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So that would be the the, the 12th, right? Yeah. The, yes. July 12th. Yes. July 12th. That's what give him to the next meeting. That would be July 12th. That would okay. Be now, 15th, I mean, 15th. if you give him to July 12th, what happens? Um, I mean, since that's midpoint from our meeting, what happens if, say, you go there by July 12th and it hasn't been done? Then at the next meeting, my testimony would be July 12th, and then you would affix the fine accordingly. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. To what you recommend? I recommend the two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. And how much was it? I do not recall. Okay, well, we won't have that. $75. $75? $75 per day, right. according Seven to this. Per violation. Yeah. But we don't have to deal with that. No, we don't have to deal with that. Okay. okay. Well, Madam Chair Person, if there's no more uh, Sorry. motion, uh, any questions or anything, I move that in case number 2020 No, 23. Nope. One one ten zero one one ten. That um, the respond to be found in violation of code as cited <clears throat> as of what was that March 9th, twenty twenty three, and be given until July twelfth to come into compliance or be fined twenty five day twenty five dollars a day per violation until found in compliance. No. No? There's only one violation at this point. The other mm -hmm. two are complete. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're just down to the permit. All you need is okay, one for all right. three violations. He has three violations. Very good point. 113, 108-24-D, and 143-27-A. The only one that's still in violation is the lean-to on the side of the house, 51-13. Okay. Yeah. Stand corrected. Duly noted. So, board members, you've, you've already <coughs> made a motion either so last month or two months ago. You already right. ma uh, right. said they were in violation mm -hmm. and the dollar amount. So, really, all you want to do is extend okay. two weeks. Okay. So, okay. then, uh, thank you, well, um, so Mr. Gaines. So moved. So moved. Okay. So moved. Okay. Okay. So therefore, there's a motion on the board to extend it by two weeks, and they're looking for a second currently, assuming right. the second. previous motion yeah. uh, died. Oh. Oh. Madam, so, so. I, I oh. second it. Okay. And case number 2023-00110. I have a motion uh, before the board presented by Member Mann and seconded by Member Schultz that the respondent... Um, be granted an extension of two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, to July 12, mm -hmm. uh, 2023, uh, to come into compliance with the remaining um, right. violation. Mm -hmm. Okay, and with that, we will vote. All those in favor, uh, press yes. Oppose, press no. Okay, motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, that concludes the cases before the board. I'll now uh, entertain comments. Okay, I actually have no comments. This okay. is a good meeting. I enjoyed it. Okay. <laughs> I have no comments. Okay.
No, ma'am. Okay. No, ma'am. Thank you for the lessons in Robert's rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Mears. I have no comments, thank you. Yeah, okay. No comments. Wow, no comments. Well, we're a silent bunch today, aren't we? <laughs> no comment then. <laughs> well, with that, um, I will meeting adjourned.